Coach, your thoughts on tonight's uh, victory to go to six and zero? Yeah, it's really hard to win on the road. It's it's extremely hard to, to travel this far uh, and get a win, and, and uh, especially to do it double digits. We didn't we didn't shoot the ball like we normally do. We didn't play at the same pace, um, but I thought our defense was phenomenal, uh, holding them under forty percent from the field. I thought offensively, Caleb really got it going during one stretch in the first half, and it kind of changed the momentum of the game. Uh, but again, a really difficult team to play on the road and to win by uh, double digits. I'm, I'm really proud of our guys' effort tonight, for sure. You talk about winning by double digits. It's the fourth game in a row. Your team's won by double digits. It's a little different tonight, but your team was still resilient enough to come out and get the win. No, Hawaii had a great crowd. I thought we did a good job of keeping them out of it at times. Um, again, I think it was about the defense tonight. Uh, much more than our offense. We've been relying on our offense tonight. We just didn't have that same rhythm. And, uh, you know, I thought Elijah Foster, he did not play much at all, but in his limited minutes, I thought he came in and contributed a lot. Um, and, and, and I thought, you know, Lindsey Drew down the stretch hit two big, 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 big three point shots for us. Yeah, Lindsey hadn't scored all night, and then he had that stretch where he made eight points in a row. I'll talk a little bit about that. Well, Lindsey's a guy who just tries to be a facilitator, tries to get other people the ball, and I thought that it was, uh, you know, at, at that juncture of the game, they weren't guarding him as tight. Um, and one of them, he just sized up that three-point shot and took his time and, and knocked it down, and I think it gave him a little bit of confidence. And I think our guys have great confidence that Lindsey can make big plays and big stretches. Three guys in double figures once again, so pretty balanced effort offensively. The Twins, once again, 38 points of your 67. Uh, talk about uh, Caleb. Yeah. Caleb was phenomenal. He, he had that one stretch when the game was one, two, three points, and it opened it up to 12 points, and then that was kind of the cushion uh, that we had all game based on him getting hot during that one little stretch. And then Cody, once again, does a little bit of everything, 16 points, three assists, three blocks, three steals, and seven rebounds. I mean, just an all-around game. Well, Cody was assigned to Thomas. They're, they're what we felt was their best offensive player, and Cody did another phenomenal job defensively. And then he just fills the stat sheet up with all the intangibles, the rebounds, the block shots, loose balls, all those things. And uh, both Martins played, played a, a big time game for us. And I thought Jordan played much better in the second half, rebounding the ball. And, and then he also hit a big three for us as well. Now we go back home, uh, long trip home, Illinois State. What do you expect to see from the Redbirds? Illinois State's a, a, a great team, one of the best mid-majors in the country. Uh, Yarborough's a guy who can just beat people off the dribble. He's a high volume free throw attempt player. Um, and then you look at uh, their point guard, Evans, he can really score the basketball. And then Philip Fain's a great athlete, runs the floor really hard, good shot blocker. Um, we're, we're familiar uh, with Illinois State. We uh, got a long trip home, and, and then we'll start our preparation on Sunday. And a great crowd you want on uh, Wednesday night? Need to have a uh, Lala rocking again. That's what we expect. Thanks, Coach. Caleb, uh, talk a little bit about your game tonight. Another 20-point game, 22 points, six rebounds. Uh, 7 of 11. Let's talk a little bit about the game tonight against the um, White. I mean, a little bit of a slow start. Um, I think we should have came out probably a little bit um, more efficient, but uh, it's a tough place, uh, far you know, far from uh, where we're from, and you know, just trying to get our legs back under us. But overall, I mean, we got the W. It wasn't the best looking one, but a win's a win, so we'll take it. <laughs> Six and zero. Oh, but uh, tonight, in the end of the first half, you went. Off. You had like 12 of the team's final 15 points. To, what what changed right there in those few moments? Uh, I mean, I just knew that uh, we had to gain some separation going to the half. You don't know, you don't want to give a team like that some confidence on the road in their home. You know, with a crowd like that behind them. Um, you know, it, was, it, it sounded pretty loud in there. You know, that, that knowing from our experience back out, uh, in Reno, like you know that fuel that's fuel to the fire. So you know, when you go into the half, you want to make sure you gain some separation just in case of uh, you know some. Uh, uh, some errors or miscommunication in the second half. So your first trip to Hawaii, what did you think? Did you have a good time when you weren't on the court? Oh yeah, it was fun. I mean, majority of it, uh, we just try to stay focused. It's a business trip, so um, we just wanted to make sure that we came out here and did what we had to do, and then worry about the fun afterwards. So going back home for a game against Illinois State, tell the fans what you want to see, crowd-wise, on Wednesday night. Yeah, I want to. Every seat packed, you know. What I'm saying I want to come on to uh, every seat packed and as many as many students we can, and just as rowdy as possible because we got a good team coming in there. So we're gonna need everybody in there to get behind us. All right, thanks. Appreciate it. Here with Cody Martin. Uh, Cody, talk about the team going six and zero tonight here in Hawaii. Uh, I mean, it always feels good to win, especially uh, having a win on the road. And um, I think that we just, you know, we struggled a little bit at first, but you know, we just came together as a team and uh, stayed focused and started emphasizing on the game plan. We just got it done. 
little bit different. It was more of a grinded out game. I mean, or most of the other games you scored a lot of points, right. won easily, although it was a double figure win. Why was it so a grinded out game? Uh, I think it was just, I think it's just, you know, all away games are going to be tough, especially uh, having their home court advantage and having their crowd and stuff. And um, uh, th those road games are always going to be tough. But uh, I think that we were just struggling, struggling at the free throw line at first and, you know, missing more shots than usual. But we just had to figure out and find a way to win. And um, I think we just came together and started figuring it out more towards the end. Uh, and more towards the end, we just got it, uh, got it done. All-around game again for you tonight, 16 points, 7 rebounds, 3 assists, 3 blocks, 3 steals. You always seem to do a little bit of everything, fill up the stat sheet. Is that more of your game? Uh, yeah, I just try to bring um, everything to the table. I just, you know, I just do, I just do everything I can to uh, contribute to the team. And I, I think that uh, my teammates and my coaches uh, trust that I'll do that, and I'll do that every single game. And um, that's what I try to do for us. And, and I, um, that's pretty much my game plan going into the game. So between the two of you, you and your brother, you got 38 of the team's 67 points, so well over half the points. So right. once again, uh, solid effort from the twins. Uh, this is your first trip to Hawaii, also. Did you have sure. to enjoy your trip when you weren't on the court? Of course, I was just sitting. I, I caught myself on the balcony, just sitting there looking out um, on the ocean and the beach and stuff. I've never been out here before, but yeah, it's really, really, really nice. Like I'm definitely coming back for sure. But um, even though we had a short trip, I can't wait to come back. So. And now we go home for Illinois State. Uh, tell the fans what you want to see on Wednesday night. Oh, we want everybody there. We just wanted to be rowdy, just like it always is. Have have everybody there. Have the crowd jumping, and um, it, uh, we're just expecting a win. Just we just got to come prepared. They they're a really really good team, and um, it just starts with preparation from now to then. So, see y'all there. Thank you.